Hey guys, how's it going? Alex here with Big Money Theory. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about how fairly small hedge fund sends shockwaves through the stock market. And because of that hedge fund, a few huge multi-billion dollars companies went down significantly up to 50% some of the companies, such as Credit Suisse, went down as much as 10% within just one trading day. But before we dive in, I would ask you to smash that like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I would truly appreciate that. Now, let's dive right into the news. So a small hedge fund we're going to be talking about today that sent shockwaves throughout the stock market this week and the end of last week was called, called Tiger Club Argos. So here's how the story happened. A lot of banks that work with Argos and let it money to buy shares were scrambling to offload Argos investment after a handful of risky bets made by the hedge fund that went bad. The rush to exi exit these positions hit public shares prices, leaving banks with huge losses. In particular, two companies are Credit Suisse and Nomura. Credit Suisse is a Swiss credit company that lost as much as 13.83% on the opening of market today. And another com company is called Nomura Holdings, which lost more than 16% on the opening of stock market today. And that has happened because on Monday, both of those companies reported that they faced potentially billions in losses linked to the hedge fund Argos Capital. So how has that happened? How has the small hedge fund pretty much blew up the market? Well, not blew up the market, uh, damaged the market so badly. And why is that everything happening? So hedge funds typically borrow money for banks to invest, a process known as a margin lending. This allows funds to leverage up the cash uh, they hold and increase their positions, potentially earning far greater returns if their bets become good. However, having a margin money means if your bet's going bad, you're losing a bunch of money. So as an example, let's say you have a thousand dollars, well, let's say a million dollars in this case, and you leverage that money and the bank gives you uh, three X your money. So now you're trading with $3 million instead of just a million dollars, right? If you're betting, let's say on options and options uh, you might know or not know. Um, so when you buy one option, you pretty much buying a possibility of purchasing 100 shares later on. So let's say if with $3 million, you buy options in the thinking that the you know options you buy are gonna go in up and they're gonna increase in the value, then you pretty much multiplying the leveraged money and uh, you can make a lot of money. So pretty much you have $1 million, you know, you 3X with leveraged money, but then if your option goes up, you can, you know, another 3x of the 3x money you have so you can make a lot of money um but the other side of this coin is if your option let's say goes down so that is multiplier of how much money you're losing so you know if you're losing a lot of money and pretty much if you're multiplying how much money you're losing you and also you have a multiplier of leverage so if if your trades go sideways or down let's say on options i'm just talking about options right now you're going to be losing you know five six you know 10x of the money you're investing so you know if you have bad days on the market for you know just a couple of days maybe a week straight of losing the stock price decreasing the stock price that means if you have options you're going to be losing a lot a lot of money so pretty much each percent of the stock decline, you're going to be 5x, you know, 7, maybe 10x losing what you have. So your portfolio is going to be shrinking per 10% a day. I've seen that happen. That happened to me before. So that's definitely not something very nice that can happen to you. So in my opinion, maybe something like that happened to this, this hedge fund. So here what happened. Uh, in trades made on margin towards sour, Banks will ask a client to put up more money as collateral to limit the potential losses. This process is known as margin call. So now another thing, if you suddenly losing money, if it's just your money, nobody cares. Like you, you, that's not your money, you do whatever you want. Uh, nobody cares. But if you leverage your money, so you borrow the money, you remember uh, originally, let's say this hedge fund got 3x from the bank, right? So if you're suddenly losing the money, uh, the bank gonna call you well, not necessarily call you, send you email and call you or whatnot. I'd uh, be like, hey, you're losing money rapidly. We need you to put money back in, into your you know, trading account. If you don't do that, 
the bank has the possibility, well, a trader has the possibility to um, liquidate your assets. So pretty much to kind of cover their balances, cover, cover their balance sheet. So what they're going to do, they will sell your positions on your behalf, but without kind of asking you because they have their priority of, you know, returning their money back. So what, mean, what that means is if you have a margin call, uh, let's say uh, today is Monday and I have margin call for tomorrow, let's say like 1 p.m. If by 1 p.m. tomorrow I don't put money on my trading account, the um, company that lended me money will proceed with the margin call and will start selling my positions. So without even asking me because they want their money back, which is very, very dangerous, uh, you know, in, in some cases, well, I guess in a lot of cases. So here's exactly what happened. The lender asked for the money back and they did the margin call and they started selling the stocks uh, or positions, I guess, in, in this case um, of this um, hedge fund. And why, like another thing about margin call, let's say in stock, in stocks or options, if you have, especially in stocks, you know, your stocks can go down, but then they can be going down for like a month, but then they're going to turn around, they're going to start growing and they're going to be growing for a couple of years, right? And you're going to make a lot of money. But when you are on borrowed money, on leveraged money, nobody cares what's going to happen in the future. That, my, that stock might bounce the very next day after the margin call, but nobody cares really. So they push you, they, you know, make you sell, I guess they sell it on your behalf, your, your position. So that'd be very dangerous. So this is exactly what happened with uh, Argos. So Argos, let's go back to the article. So Argos uh, faced margin calls on its position last week, but failed to provide extra cash. As a result, banks began selling off stocks held on the hedge fund's behalf, a fire sale known in the seed as liquidating positions. The businesses press reported on Friday that Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley we're selling huge chunks of shares in businesses, including Viacom, Discovery, Baidu, and Tencent Music. And the block sales are estimated to be worth around $20 billion, of dollars, according to Financial Times. Things started going wrong with Argos when shares of companies such as Viacom started to slide meat last week, uh, said Michael Brown, a senior market analyst at Caxstone Business. It was at that point that the margin calls were called and couldn't be provided, hence the block sales seen Friday. Uh, also, uh, another important thing, uh, Credit Suisse on Monday warned it's facing highly significant losses linked to Argos that could be material to our first quarter results. They didn't name Argos, but they said a significant US-based hedge fund defaulted on margin calls made last week by Credit Suisse and certain other banks. So, what happened pretty much, uh, we're going to go through the stocks that went down dramatically. So, those are Discover Communications, um, Ticker Disca. Viacom, uh, Vipshop, Baidu, and Tencent. And there's one more stock I'm going to mention in the end of the video that also was hit badly by this, which is not directly connected to these companies, but you'll see the uh, correlates, corresponds. You'll see the connection. So the first company, what was going. Now, I will also mention why I think happened what happened. Um, so first company is uh discovery communications inc so it's uh, american multinational mass media factual television company based in new york uh same as viacom uh same as vip shop we, though vip shop is um e-commerce company uh baidu is multinational technology company and uh, tencent music is company for music in china so now uh, for the past six months we can see that discovery was going constantly up, up and up and up and up. In six months, it gained as much as 255%. So this hedge fund was betting. I think what's, that's what happened. I think this hedge, would, hedge fund was betting on the stock going up, going more and more up. Because like nothing you know, was saying it's not going to go up. And it probably bought, uh, back to what I said before, probably bought options thinking that this stock is going to continue going back or well, continue going up, sorry, yeah. Uh, and this is what was, you know, happening. And I think somewhere right here, 
when the options start when the stock price started going down so that was uh you know end of beginning of last week and we can see that they went down as much as seven percent right so they were going up and up and up and let's say if they even had options they were going down and up you know altogether it was really going upward trend it was real nice then i think what's going to happen is right here this stock went down and maybe there's a possibility that they bought options kind of right here right on the top possibly and then when it went down it went down seven percent normally seven percent is not too bad right uh, but again remember if we're talking about leveraged money we're talking about also options so you have 3x let's say leverage on options you can go pretty crazy i, I mean kind of have a multiplier so when it's possible when you lose i've seen that before when you lose let's say one percent on option uh sorry one percent on the stocks your options go down as much as you know five ten percent depends on how much like what was the setup for your options was it in the money out of money blah blah, blah. there are a lot of things there so it's very possible that when the stock lost seven percent which is not unusual you can see it had happened before within a month it lost six percent right but when it was going down and down again and down even more what i think happened their options in the portfolio went down way more than that so i think that they went down you know instead of 10 percent, they could go down as much as 30 40 percent and that's when the margin call comes in but when the option goes down 40 percent, that means you have 40 percent less money in your in your account plus if you're leveraged money that probably means you don't really have too much of the free cash flow so they were not able to provide uh, you know money to cover those options i think that there were options um and we got margin call and now what's happening that hedge fund well i in the beginning i said it's not big hedge fund it actually more of you know tens of billions of dollars right so it's, it's comparing to let's say ark invest it's not big comparing to other hedge funds it might be fairly decent size so what happened they were heavily invested in discovery in particular and the viacom um and when banks had to call had to do the margin call they had to sell chunks of the stocks or options or whatnot that belonged to argos capital on the market right so you saw the stock price going down and then suddenly a uh, huge chunks of stocks we're talking about millions of stocks of those companies were thrown on the market to cover the losses of those banks in particular morgan stanley and uh what else was there um goldman sachs and morgan stanley right so the price of the stock was declining and now we saw a, ch a big chunks of those stocks thrown out of the market for sale so that triggered a sell-off a huge sell-off i don't think this company ever had this such such huge sell-off so since march 19th this guy has lost as much as 45 percent or 46 percent within pretty much like one trading week which is which is crazy um so again stock was going down margin call more stocks were sold and it was like a snowball effect so and then i i think a lot of hedge funds were like oh you know damn it let's uh just sell off the stocks we don't want to get it too big of the heat and then retail investors were panicking so everyone is selling and selling and selling and that's i think what's happened the just snowball effect uh that was triggered by one hedge fund dropped down the price of the discovery as much as again uh 46 percent now within just one trading week next company that was hit um viacom cbs um american diversified multinational mass media conglomerate these guys were going up and up and up he probably have option calls uh on this company as well i'm talking about the hedge fund and then they dropped down significantly and they lost as much as 54 percent 
within just a few trading days, which is just just, just crazy. Uh, next company that was hit, Bishop Holdings Ltd, e-commerce company. These guys went up as much as you know 190% within just six months. Now they dropped down and lost 37%. Next company that was hit, well, Baidu and I guess we'll talk about this come first. Tencent Music was going up nicely, was hit by that last week trading, lost 48, 38%. Sorry. Baidu um, started the sell off on February 19th. That's when everybody was starting selling off. Uh, we, that's, that, that's the start of that big um, tech companies sell off we have right now, we're going through right now. So these guys went as much as 40% down within past what, the month month and a half um but this particular last week trading uh they lost as much as 24 percent now another company that was also hit by this sell-off which has nothing to do with um argos capital but also was hit by the sell-off is roku so this uh they started selling off again on february 19th as we have that's when we got that uh, you know, tech companies sell off, but we can see that last week they also went down as much as 16.5%. So that's kind of funny because this company has nothing to do with Argos. Uh, so those are companies that were hit pretty, pretty badly just because of the um, one hedge funds going down. I, I don't know what's going to happen with Argos, I think they are done, but um. Yeah, here we go, guys. Um, here are the news for the stock market. Um, I will again uh, link all the stocks I think that were well that were hit the most uh, because of that sell-off. I personally think it might be a good idea to buy into those stocks now. Uh, maybe wait a little longer, uh, see what's going on. But you know, if let's say if we go back to the uh, Discover Communications, they were dropping down, 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 down. But now today, they actually are trying to bounce back. They already got six percent back from the lowest. Uh, once again, guys, maybe it's uh, it might be a good idea to buy into those companies because uh, you know fundamentally, those are still great companies. They have great financials and whatnot. So yeah, I think those companies might be a good option to buy right now. Not buy options, but a good option to buy the stocks of those companies, right? Um, and that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I heard, leave a like, drop a comment, consider subscribing to the channel. I would truly appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.